Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And our channel is Deb Schnell's 40th World. Where girls and boys, men and women... Okay, I made the lipstick alley. <laughs> yes, I made the lipstick alley commentary. They are a blogging uh, magazine or a blogging site that blogs about YouTubers. They blog about celebrities. And when you get on this particular uh, platform, you're doing a little something. Okay, so yeah, y'all, shout me out. Yes. I'm from Atlanta. I think they're based in Atlanta as well. And like I said, they try to look for interesting stories or things of that nature, pretty much. But y'all, I don't know what the hell wrong with Nene. She just don't she just don't want to act right at all. She taking pictures of herself and putting filters all over there on herself. I'm like, girl. Whoo, but anyway. Yes, I just want to tell y'all that. Ooh. I just woke up from a nap, so I really shouldn't be tired. Now, should I, guys? But someone in um, my YouTube family said that Nene trans, uh, we call it, not transfer, but uh, what is it when you uh, turn in a car and you get something else? Is that a trade-in for a newer model? I don't know what she had before, but uh, she traded her other car in and got a new Rolls Royce. Now, I don't know why Scammerman Shaba is driving her ride, or maybe she traded in his old ride and got him that. Either way, that's a wrong look. That's a wrong, wrong look. A boss chick drive her own shit, and if he's a boss person, he should be driving his own shit, okay? But anyway... Nene looks like she want to give people things, okay? Give people things. Why don't you give the homeless people, Nene? Why don't you get a fundraising charity organization together and throw your money into the homeless situation since you so freely want to throw it on a man who's clearly married and taken, not single, okay? Bad look, Nene. Bad look all the way around. And that wife ain't getting off your ass anytime soon. I mean, let's check the list off, shall we? Uh, no more husband. That was Greg. Okay. No more house. That beautiful mansion you had. No more apartment studio. Okay. Your son got in a car wreck. Not fatal, but... Still the same. More bills piling up. You have no job. Okay. Your restaurant had employees, had food, had vendors. That's a, a, a no-go what, from what I hear, uh, allegedly. So no staff, no vendors. And Lenithia had to be closed down for some time. Don't know why. Because a person that has a business, they definitely ain't going to get their a uh, connection for us a telephone cut off that's your lifeline for your business okay and then they ain't gonna shut no restaurant down that is your stream that is your money stream that's the only thing you have right now because no one's booking you okay um where are your friends what about your friends Will they stand their ground? Will they let you down again? Yeah, hi, where's your friends? Only thing I see coming out is foes, 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 okay? Uh, you don't have a man. Because you'd rather share a man that's already taken than let his ass go. So, okay, no man. Mm, 
positions, no job, no staff, no okay, no bookings for a job, no apartment, no home. Okay, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it's almost ten on the list, okay, of what you don't have. And what do you see in this man? I do not know because you had not had any good luck, no good fortune, no nothing since this man came into your life. But you swear you are winning. And I don't know why you keep using those fields. Just because your nose is not that pointy and slender. That is not your complexion. But you rather stay under. Uh, well, I should say stay in. Kanye West was in the second place. And it looked like your ass is in the second place. Why don't you wake the fuck up, Nene? What do you have to do? Hit rock bottom. Be thrown out, ass out. They said your son, your oldest son, allegedly, is walking the street homeless. Okay. What's up that? What's What about that, Nene? What's up with that? You got your, well, well I don't know, because people have speculations that Bryson's son, that Simone was saying was his, is not his. But the fact that he don't have a place to stay, Nene, I heard that as well. Um... N oldest son, nowhere to stay. Uh, you haven't talked about your grandchildren or anything of that nature. You don't took sh scam a man, shabba, to three luxurious uh, destinations. Okay. And what do you literally have to show that this man has brought good fortune to you or is a good person to be around doing business with as well as pleasure? Well, Nene, he's not single, okay? That's the big thing that's in the room. That's the elephant that's in the room. Now, you talk about Kenya. You talked about Candy. You talked about Sheree. You talked about Kim Zosiak. Uh, was there anybody else? Uh, let's see. No, I think that's about it. I mean, you talked about everybody. And... Nothing has transpired for you but bad luck. I'm like, girl, if that wasn't an eye-opening thing of all the things I have listed that has gone wrong, that you don't lost, a wise person would just sit back and reflect and just dialogue with themselves. Because it's okay to talk to yourself sometimes, okay? It's, it's okay to talk to yourself sometimes because only you know yourself as well as the Lord. You see what I'm saying? There's all two people that know you, okay? But girl, you need to wake the F up, okay? Or how they say down, instead of saying F fuck up, you they say cuff up. So, I'm going to try to practice that, okay? Because I don't want to get too rocky for y'all. But Nene, girl, you need to wake up. You need to wake up, wake up, everybody. Teach a new way. Wake up, everybody. Something. Y'all know I'm going with it. Ted Pendergrass. Uh, 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 Well, uh, I had to think about the song and sing it for y'all later on. Because it still ain't, it's not coming to me. Who <laughs> on that? I can remember. Wake up, everybody. It's time to teach a new way. Okay. I don't know the rest. I have to uh, work on that when I'm trying to feel a little music as I'm talking. Because that's usually what I do. But, uh, yeah, we're in Atlanta, honey. We are in Atlanta. And I don't know why I'm, um, we just have shortage of men here. I, I don't understand, okay, why we don't have shortage of men. Why we feel like we got to share. Because we don't have to share. I would really like to see a poll of the people that were native, that were born and raised here, versus the people who migrated here or found themselves in Atlanta. Because, you know, they always say we got the gayest city. But uh, the poll that y'all were getting it from, did they actually were born and raised here? Okay, or oh, we got the most cheaters. Again, were they born and raised here? Are you really looking at a Georgia peach man or a Georgia peach woman? But... I don't think we have a lot of men here. I personally, I don't think we have a lot of men in each state that are worthy to be dated. Okay? It's not just Atlanta. So don't don't get it twisted now. We have a lot of Atlanteans wannabe that have been here, say, five, 
to maybe 12, 14 years, but not originally, okay, not the original peach, grown peach, all right? So I had to get that straight because a lot of people be you know, trying to throw salt on our city, our city and our town, our state. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Because we got a lot of people coming from California. We got a lot of people coming from um, New York. Uh, a lot of people, I, I mean, some people need to go to Alaska because I, I, I still, I, I hear now. It's what the street's telling me over there in Alaska that they have plenty of men running around there. But then again, who wants to be cold six months out of the year and it be dark over there? That's kind of depressing, kind of depressing. So we wouldn't advise going over there unless you just really, really, really need a man. But then it's just about really the ages of time, you know, winding up for the majority of us. Okay, a lot of things are going on. This Bible fulfilling. And that's where you're going to be. You look at it for what it is or you just be in your own little bubble. Something like Nene is inherited in. She can't seem to come out. She don't want to come out. I don't understand this chick. Okay. Now what if somebody didn't let Greg go. Okay. Greg just had a little twist on the side. I was going to be staying in the dark. Not to say whatever done in the dark, stay in the dark. Same thing with the Las Vegas. Whatever done in Vegas stays in Vegas. But we know that's bullshit. Shit creeps back to your home state, all right, and get to the people that it needs to get to. Now, Nene, would you have liked it, uh, what you call it, uh, scam a man's wife to mess with your husband and won't let him go and continuously drag your name through the mud on social media? Her constantly had taken pictures with Greg. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, you wouldn't like it done to you. You wouldn't stand for it. Okay? So why don't you think that woman deserves the same respect? Because she does. Let her get rid of her husband if that need be. Okay? Or let her husband do the proper thing, which is to get a divorce. All right? But you refuse to think. You f refuse to let go. And you're just holding on it like a, a dog holding a bone. You just, like, he is the it all be all type of man i'm like nisha what are you doing with yourself these days okay but we need you to pull up we need you to pull up before you crash and burn because once it's all dead and uh, said and done ain't no ain't that too, you know, i mean what 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 would we need you for okay nobody will hire you because you like to sue people okay in the entertainment world it would be an embarrassment for you to go work at walmart But hey, a lady got to do what a lady got to do. Okay. But this is just another uh, careful, thought out, begging type point of a video that you get yourself together, straighten up and fly right and leave married people where they at. Okay, girl. Pull up. It's, not, it's okay to be alone. All right. As long as you ain't lonely. I suggest get a dog. You know what I'm saying? Man's best friend. They don't turn on you. And it's, you know, you know that person ain't been with nobody. Okay? Now, that's just for companionship. They ain't doing no freaky dicky stuff. You see what I'm saying? They ain't. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like and love. Gotta have more. Make sure you subscribe. Share my videos. Like and comment. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.